six months of chemo, after that, regular scans to make sure um, that you were okay. And it wasn't until April 2015 that you, you found a lump on your head. And that had devastating uh, a diagnosis yes. that came with that. And, and that was stage four it brain tumour. It was, yes. I mean, really frightening, frightening stuff. It was. Um, I just started my new job. Um, I, would, uh, I was there for, I wasn't there long, I was probably there for a couple of weeks um, and I thought it was to do with computers and I thought that it had brought the headaches on because mm. I was a dental nurse before in my previous job. Um, so I didn't think quite, quite about it, I was taking the paracetamols and stuff like that but it was going on for about two weeks now mm. and I just thought some, something's not, not right. right. Well you had to have brain surgery and then once again you're back into intensive treatment. Yes. They couldn't take all of it, but the treatment mm. reduced it down. I thought, OK, we might be out of the woods here. Uh, and then another year passes by, very painful uh, headaches. Um, and then what are you told? Um, I, was, I had the uh, radiotherapy, uh, the first lot of uh, treatment, um, and then I had a seizure and it brought up that there was eight new tumours. Oh my goodness me. Um, so I was, I started some treatment over here, um, but by this time my mum had uh, found on the internet a clinic in Germany, in Paul Wan Clinic. Well, you, you'd, been, you'd been told by the doctors at this stage, now yeah. you have to start making provisions I have, for yeah, the after. Yeah, I had to make plans, yeah. Yeah, for so. what's, who's... Penelope going to be with. Yeah, they and, told me to make got a will. Yeah, they told me to make a will. Um, anything that, um, like birthday cards that I wanted for her to open in the future, oh, I had to write God. them. Oh, horrific. So I was, um, I was a bit like, do I write letters in them? What do I put in them? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, mean it's... I'm like 20, I'm 25, and it's just something that you don't think about at that age. No. And for you, Helen, uh, uh, watching your daughter go through something like this, you were, this is not an option. She is not going anywhere, no. and you found this treatment, and this is the immunotherapy. It was a, a clinic in Germany, not cheap. They've had great results with people, but the first treatment is, is 30,000 euros. Yes. Any follow-up treatment can begin at 80,000 euros, so that you needed to start funding. I did, yeah. <clears throat> and how did you go about doing that? I started um, a page on the internet to raise funds and um, I didn't know how I was going to do it because I knew how much it, it was going to cost. But at the end of the day, when you hear what we heard, you don't think you do about anything. it. You just do anything. You just think, well, we'll just see what happens. When did you find out that you had help from what was quite a surprising area? Yes, um, it was about... Um, a, a month after we'd heard this and the GoFundMe page had been open about a month and I just got an email out of the blue yeah. from Kate's um, This PR, is Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet's PA um, explaining that Kate had seen Gemma's page and from one mother to another she decided that she thought like myself and she couldn't let her die. And so she organised fundraising events in, yes. in Los Angeles, yes. alongside Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes. Um, and, uh, and a sort of huge amount of money yeah. raised for you, which, mm -hmm. uh, and we wouldn't be uh, rude enough to ask you how much they raised, because w what they did do is they managed to get you that treatment. Yeah. Yes. Um, <clears throat> um, uh, you know, what, what would you say? What would you say to Kate? I, a lot of people have asked me this question, and I, I just probably obviously would thank her for saving saving my life mm. and I just said to the uh, news reporter I think we'd just have a, a good old chit chat of well, every day uh, she'd probably want to take my mind off it and not make it too much I'm, of a, I'm sure she would in fact you can you can you can tell her that now because she's on the phone morning Kate Winslet. good morning Kate <laughs> good morning everybody <laughs> oh um, so your uh, your extraordinary <laughs> act of, of kindness and generosity uh, you could see here uh, a, a, a young lady who's so so grateful um, what made you want I, to get involved I lost my own mother last year in May to ovarian cancer. And at the time that uh, we as a family were given a very poor prognosis for my mum after a four year battle, a really unbelievable fight, we decided to look elsewhere. And we also stumbled across these places in Germany. And simultaneously, I came across a petition that had been set up on change.org, which was Gemma, or someone on behalf of Gemma, campaigning to have immunotherapy made available on the NHS. And my heart sank because 
at that point, I thought this poor young woman is probably years away from ever being able to access that kind of treatment on the National Health Service. And I then found her GoFundMe page and I saw how much money she needed to raise. And at that point, there was only £9,000 in the fund. And I just thought, I can't have this happen. And my own mother was very, very, very unwell. And I just thought my mum would be incredibly proud if I could do this, sorry, for somebody else, for another young mum. And because we raised more than we needed for Gemma, I'm now able to set up another foundation, which Gemma's going to help me and be involved with, another foundation which will specifically help individuals who are in exactly the position that Gemma has been in. So, so much good has come out of this remarkable moment. And I, I mean, look at Gemma, look at her. She's so beautiful. She's alive. She's cancer-free. It's utterly incredible. I feel so um, blessed that I could help. What do you, what do you say to Kate? Hi, Kate. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, I just want to. I just want to say um, thank. Thank you so much for all your hard work and uh, uh, me being able to have my treatment that um, I really did need. Um, I just. I, you, you saved my life, and I just want you to know that. I, I really, really. Oh. <laughs> oh, I just. I can't. I couldn't be. You know, I could not be more thrilled and honoured to have been able to find you and your mum and to be able to help you and that it actually worked you know it actually really did work we raised the money and the treatment has worked and I think that's you know that's the real headline here